Hello and welcome to today's class. Today we're going to do a gentle sequence for the shoulders. So let's start by warming up those shoulders. Bring your hands to your shoulders and make small circles with your shoulders. Actually make them as big as you can so you really get into those joints. And the opposite direction. Now bring your arms in front of you, bring your left arm to the side, with your right hand bring it in as much as you can. At release, let's change sides, bring your right arm across and bring it in. And release. Now bring your left arm up, bend your elbow, drop your hand behind you with the help of your right hand, bring it in. And release. Bring your right arm up, bend your elbow, and help it in. And release. Drop your right hand beside you, bring your left hand up and sway to the left. So you give your to the right, so you give your left side a nice good stretch. And let's change sides. And release. Bring both arms up, inhale. And as you exhale, bring your left arm forward and your right arm back, twist to the right. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and we're going to do it one last time, inhale up, and exhale, twist to the left, and come back to center, release. Come on to all fours, make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips, and round your back, tucking your belly, look down towards your belly button, that pose. Then drop your belly, arch your back, look up. Round your back, tucking your belly, look down, and inhale as you drop your belly and look up. Exhale, round your back, tucking your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, let's do it one last time, inhale, drop your belly, look up, and exhale into a neutral spine, bring your right arm up towards the ceiling and look up towards your hand, bring your hand down and slide it through your left and the left knee, release your right ear and shoulder down, now this time bring your left arm up, and have a go at dropping your arm back towards the floor behind you. And release. Drop your left hand down to the floor, bring your right hand up towards the ceiling, look up. Bring your hand down, all fours. Bring your left hand up, look up. Bring it down, slide it through. 
Bring your right hand up and have a go at dropping your hands back towards the floor behind. And to release. Drop your left hand down to the floor. Bring your left hand up towards the ceiling. Look up. Bring your hand down. All fours. Walk your hands slightly forward. Tuck your toes under. Keep your legs firm. Lift your knees off the ground. Bring your chest towards your thighs and straighten one leg at a time. Until you feel comfortable to straighten both legs. In downward dog. Bring your chest towards your thighs so you really feel that you're getting into those shoulders. You should feel a stretch in your underarm. Drop your knees. Lighten your feet and lower your whole body down to the ground. Bring your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers. Lift your arms off your body and your chest off the ground. And release. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Come on to all fours. Sit back on your feet. Child's pose. Drop your forehead down. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers again. Lift your arms up. And just make the effort of bringing your arms beyond your head towards the ground. And release. Bring your arms in front of you. Come on to all fours. Walk your hands slightly forward. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips. Downward dog. Drop your knees down to the floor. Flatten your feet. And lower your whole body down to the ground. Hug your elbows into your ribs and feel your heart off the floor all the way up into cobra. Drop your shoulders away from your ears and breathe. And release. Lower your whole body down to the ground with your right arm beside you. Now with the help of your left arm, make sure that your arm is actually your hand is leveled with your shoulder, so your arm is completely perpendicular to your body. Press your left hand down into the ground and roll all the way onto your right side. Drop your head down to the floor. Now bring your left foot to the back of your right leg. Your left knee is pointing up. Bring your left arm up and drop your hand behind you. And release. Let's change sides. Roll all the way onto your belly. Bring your left arm to the side. With the help of your right hand, roll all the way onto your left. Bring your right foot to the back of your left leg. Your right arm up. Bend your elbow. Drop your hand behind you and lean back. And release. Roll all the way onto your belly. And now bring your left arm all the way to the right side. Your right arm all the way to your left side. Push your body a little bit further forward and lean forward as much as you can. So you're actually collapsing onto your arms, giving your shoulders some really good stretch. You can feel the stretch in your shoulder blades.
and really let's just change sides from your left arm to the front pull your hands in opposite directions maybe wriggle your body a little bit further forwards and release And find your way all the way back into all fours. Your hands under your shoulders and push your body up. Now, keeping your hips on top of your knees, drop down onto your elbows. Walk your arms as much forward as you can and drop your chest towards the floor. And release. Find your way back into all fours. Now bring your left knee to the outside of your right knee. Open your feet wide and sit between your feet. Push your feet as far away from your body as you can so that you can bring both sit bones down to the floor. Now this class is about the shoulders. This is adding a hip stretch to the, to the shoulders pose. So if this is too uncomfortable, just find a comfortable seated pose. Now bring your right arm up. Bend your elbow, drop your hand behind you, and you can either help your elbow down with your left hand, or you can wrap your left arm around and have a go at getting hold of your hand. And release. Find your way back into all fours. We're just changing sides. Bring your right knee to the outside of your left knee. Your feet wide. Sit back. Have just as much as you need to. And then bring your left arm up. Drop your hand behind you with the help of your right hand. Bring it in. Or you can wrap your right arm around and have a go at getting hold of your hands behind. release. Find your way back into all fours. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips down with them. Have a look at your hands and step or walk your feet forward and slowly uncurl your back all the way up. Roll your shoulders back and let them drop comfortably down. Now let's just get into tree pose. So make sure that you've got enough space beside you so you can extend your arms to the sides. Shift away to your left leg and bring your right foot against your left leg into tree pose. Your thigh will do, your calf will do, just make sure that your foot is not against your knee. So just find a tree pose that works for you. Bring your hands in front of your heart and find your balance. And bring your arms above your hips. Open your arms to the sides. Bring your right elbow up, your left elbow down, and your hands towards each other behind. And reverse the arms. Open your arms to the sides. Bring your hands together above your head. And bring your hands in front of your heart tree. And release. Give your legs a little bit of shake. Let's change sides. Shift your weight to your right leg and bring your left foot up tree pose. Fix your gaze in something steady that always helps with the balance. Bring your hands in front of your heart. And bring your arms above your head. Open your arms to the side. Bring your left elbow up, your right elbow down, your hands towards each other. And reverse the arms. Open your arms to the side. Bring your hands.
hands together above you. And bring your hands in front of your heart, find your balance again. And three legs. Give your legs a little bit of shake. And come all the way down into a seated pose. Find a comfortable seated pose. And now bring your hands behind your back. Now you can either get into prayer pose if you can, or you can grab your elbows or, or your forearms if you can't. Just make sure that you have a really nice, long, straight back. And then inhale as you lengthen your spine. And exhale as you fold forward. And three release. Slowly come all the way out of the pose. Release your arms, give them a little bit of a shake. And now bring your feet in front of you. Hip width apart. Bring your hands behind you with your fingers pointing in towards you. And then press through your hands on your feet. And lift your hips off the floor as far as they will go. And then, if you're feeling safe, let your head drop back. And really slowly come all the way out of the pose and find a comfortable seated pose with your arms, hands a little bit of shake. And now let's get into eagle arms. Bring your arms in front of you, your right elbow on top of the left one. Bring your hands towards you and to face each other. Get hold of your hands. Pull your hands away from you. Lift your elbows as much as you can. And release. Let's change sides. Bring your left elbow on top of the right one. Your hands to face each other. Get hold of your hands. Your hands away from you. Lift your elbows. And release. Give your arms a little bit of a shake. And now, make sure that you're comfortable in your seated pose. We're going to hold it for a little bit longer. Bring your hands to chin mudra. Your index finger and your thumb are in touch. The other fingers just curl naturally. And drop your hands to your legs. Close your eyes and lengthen your spine as much as you can. your arms above your head, put your hands together. Now, if this is too much for your shoulders, bend your elbows so you bring your hands a little bit closer to your head, but then open your elbows to the sides and maybe have a go at straining your arms a little bit more every time. Bring your hands in front of your heart, close your eyes. I'm going to say a little prayer today. May all beings be free of the bondage of cravings and aversions. May all beings experience reality and truth. May all beings share love, peace, harmony and joy. Now 
på en gran framstuta och köpte är lighting för clean effort. Tulips for true speech. Tap to your heart for compassion. Namaste. Thank you very much, guys, and um, we'll see you soon.